Now, once we've got uh, our inverse functions figured out and we can find out the angle given the ratio, we were given the ratio in decimals up here, but we could be given the ratio like a fraction, kind of like what we're used to seeing. So if we look at a problem like, uh, let's one we haven't done, maybe 177. 177 has an unknown angle we're solving for. It's got two side lengths given. So we're going to do the same thing as before where we figure out the sides of the triangle. So first off, here's our right angle. So here's our hypotenuse up here. Okay, here's our reference angle because that's the angle we're wondering about. So that makes 17 the opposite and 20 the adjacent. Now, if we have opposite and adjacent, we go back to our trig function list. And we say, which one deals with opposite and adjacent? That's tangent. So since we know the, the ratio and we want to know the angle, we can just do inverse tangent of that ratio, which is opposite over adjacent, so 17 over 20, and it will give us our angle. So inverse tangent of 17 over 20, close my parentheses because I got to make sure that my calculator knows that I want inverse tangent of this whole ratio and not just the first number. And that tells me 40.36. So to the nearest degree, that is 40 degrees. Uh, now, if we look at another one, let's look at uh, 181. 181 gives you all of the sides. So I'm still going to do the same things. I'm still going to say right angle here, hypotenuse here opposite up here and adjacent here. So I actually get to pick what two I want to use. Now I'm going to do a sign problem. So I want to do opposite and hypotenuse. So inverse sine of 16 over 65 equals the angle. So I just go over here and I do inverse sine of 16 over 65. 14.25, so about 14 degrees. And if I would like to do uh, a tangent, or sorry, a, a cosine problem, I'll look at 180. Here's my angle, here's my right angle. So I, um, uh, reference angle, right angle. So hypotenuse is here, opposite over here, and adjacent up here. So uh, adjacent and hypotenuse is what I'm given, that's cosine, so inverse cosine of eight over 24 is what I'm interested in. So inverse cosine, inverse cosine of 18 over 24, that is 41.4 or to the nearest degree, 41 degrees. All right.